wafer stainless steel swing check valve. This valve is great for inline applications for preventing backflow. Uh, the important thing to note with this one is it must be mounted in a horizontal plane. If I lift it from this lug here, you can see the disc itself or the gate um, in the middle here. Now if I tilt that back, it's just going to fall open. There is a spring that keeps it in place at the back, but the spring has a very low cracking pressure. So ideally, you want this mounted in a horizontal plane as such. Now, the way this works, if you look on the back there, if this was any backflow, it would come in and hit this disc here, which sits on the seat and prevents any backflow. If I swing it in the other direction, this would be a direction of flow here. Flow would come through, it would push on this, which swings right back out of the direction of flow or out of the middle of your flow so there's not a tortured flow path and continue through. Now this is mounted between flanges so you'd have a flange either side and that seals on this o-ring seal here and is clamped in place. This lug at the top is purely for lifting or mounting. Now it's a 316 stainless steel body, 316 stainless steel gate. It's got a NBR diaphragm, so that's good to 80 degrees. If you look on the back here, all the fixings are 316 stainless steel. It's got a 316 stainless steel spring, which really gives it a wide range of media it can go th that can go through this. Um, really, what you want to check is NBR and if it's compatible with your media. Apart from that, it's good for a wide, wide, wide range of media. These are available from 50 mil up to 1200 mil. Very common in pipelines. Um, if you look at other flange check valves, you, first of all, you have to choose your flange table. This one will suit table D, table E, table H, ANSI 150, ANSI 300, DIN, JIC, PN16. So you get it to suit a wide range of flanges and it's, you, you're, you're really buying a lot less material, uh, typical flanged check valve you know, will be 10 times the size because it includes the flanges as well uh, the body would typically be longer, it's going to be heavier and it's going to be harder to install.